incredible. Wow. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome to uh, another trout fishing adventure in the mountains at this creek. Um, I've been here, this is the second time, and I discovered the first time I came here, first time I discovered this, there are mongo crawfish in here and tons of rainbow trout. So I've decided to return and uh, so I'm just gonna fish and forge around. Let's see what happens. So check it out. I've got all of these mini trout tubes with me. And by the time you guys are watching this, the Ace Videos Trout Tube Tackle Box should be out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Start out with like 10 bags of these and I narrowed it down to my five or six of my favorites here. And so I got those and I got worms though as backup too, just in case, I don't know, maybe the fishing's really, really tough or something, but these tubes should do well. The first color I'm starting off with is called crawfish. Just a nice plain, kind of a dark mocha colored little mini tube there, an inch and a half. So let's try that. Also have these other colors here. We're gonna try, we're gonna get some crazy ones like Happy Meal, I love Happy Meal. Caught a lot of trout on that one. And uh, this is Scud Missile. Anyway, I'll show all of them in a second. Let's cast in this little, uh, this little creek right, or this little hole right up here. I just have this little mini fishing rod today. This is actually an ice fishing reel. And I put some four pound test on it. I do not like ice fishing. Um, I've been only been twice before. And so I thought, you know what? I bought this reel. The reel is solid. I'm gonna use it as a tiny like creek fishing rod here. And I, this rod's only five foot long. It breaks down. And uh, so yeah, this is my setup for the day. Oh wait, you know, I was about to take first cast. I almost forgot something really important here. Got here some Dry Creek Outfitters Trophy Bass Gel Scent. I know it says bass gel scent, but it's great for trout too. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the tube. And when you go to order my Ace Videos Tackle Box, this will actually be linked right beside it, so. All right, let's go, let's go. Starting to rain again. It's kind of been a rainy, drizzly day. All right, first cast of the day, folks. So I'm just gonna follow this thing up and just kind of fish all these little waterfalls. All right, guys, I wanna fish that waterfall. So my plan is to sneak up, though, and drop my line in at just the right spot. Got him, got him guys, got him. Oh yes, <laughs> look at that. That's what I'm talking about, first fish of the day. And that is a keeper for sure. That's a nice size for this creek. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh he swallowed it too, or it's in his gill actually. So we're definitely keeping this one. And guys on that uh, hare's ear was the color that that trout wanted. Nice. I'm gonna bonk him real quick. Whoa. Look at that, folks. That is what I'm talking about. And to catch like a, probably a nine or probably 10 incher in a creek like this, that's a good eating size. Sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, using the same tube, because you know that once you catch one fish on it, it's, it gives it a nice fishy flavor that other fish will like, so. Got him. Yes. <laughs> right in that waterfall. Very, very cool. I didn't even, I think I had this one on for a while and I didn't even know it because he swallowed it. There's slack in my line and I was like, why is there slack? Oh man, folks, they are loving this tube right now. Let's bonk him real quick. How beautiful. 
are these wild mountain trout here. Caught them on hare's ear. What a dynamite color. I've got a lot of trout snacks in here and a snack for me. I'm hungry already. I'll be excited when I get to cook up some trout and I'm gonna try to catch some crawfish. All right, guys, so I caught a couple out of this little run here. But I look up above and there's a nice pool right there. I'm gonna walk around, see if I can get to that. Missed him, missed him. Dang it. He had it, he was swimming upstream with it. Got him. Yes. I right, by that waterfall. Another rainbow and another like decent one too. There are a lot of like really tiny like four inch trout in here. I can see them, but I've caught, maybe it's using the tube or something. Might be because I'm using a tube that I'm getting a little bit bigger ones. Sweet. All right, my friends. Let's see. There we go. You know what, guys? I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna let this one go here. Um, I think he went down the waterfall. Oh well. All right. Got him. Oh, did you see that jump? <laughs> oh, that is cool. Look at this guy. Look at him jumping. Nice. Oh, man. That is another keeper right there. I've got my three fish that I want folks to keep. So I like to keep ones that are in the mid range. Um, and this one's about 11 inches or so. And so if I was to catch like a 14 or 15 incher, which would be huge for this creek, I wouldn't keep it because it's kind of like a trophy one. And then of course you don't want to eat really small ones. But catching nice medium sized ones like this is perfect because they're, uh, one guy described it, I think it was uncut angling, he said think of a pyramid where you have only a few giant fish at the top, a bunch of medium fish in the middle and tons of little fish that you don't want to keep anyway. So that's the idea. Some people ask me about that, why I keep medium sized ones and let the biggest fish of the day go. And that's why, especially at these creeks here where you know they don't exactly resupply that easily I don't think but I don't know maybe in these mountains they don't get disturbed very much onward and upward my friends I, every pool looks good but I have to kind of be choosy check out this little run here folks this should have a fish in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right here. I like it. I like it. Oops. Not a good kick. All right. Here we go. Got him. Oh, a little micro trout. Oh, that is cool though. Right in that spot. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Right in that spot though. I wonder if I'm gonna get any other kind of trout, like a brown trout or a brook trout up here. So far all I've caught is rainbows in this creek, which I'm not complaining at all. I just find that interesting because I know there are a lot of other species around here. Check it out. 
a little little salamander. That's cool. Careful, bro. Your trout bait that size. Trout will eat you up. There you go. Look at him trying to he's trying to burrow down in like the moss. Oh he is burrowing down. Oh that's cool. That's really cool. Further up and further in. Wow. At every turn, there are just more beautiful waterfalls and pools. I see trout swim around in there. You know, I'm gonna pause though on the trout fishing and um, catch some crawfish. The way I'm gonna catch these crawfish is take these trout and I'm gonna gut them. When I cook, I cook them whole. And so, all I need is the guts out. Cut them straight up the middle like so. Oh dang, this is a female. Shoot, oh well, that happens. There we go. Now let's put this under water. Not gone for five minutes and already like everything is gone. Oh wait, I see him over here. He's dragging it. He's almost to his lair. I gotta get it before he goes in. He's almost to his lair. That is crazy. 
I can't believe I found my spatula. It stayed here, stayed in the water since last week when I was here. Didn't wash away. And this crawdad, again, refuses, refuses to drop the guts. All right, set my spatula there. That is super cool. And, oh wow, okay. At first I thought one got out. Guys, check it out, check it out. Got a big one here. Big one. Whoa. Whoa. I thought this was a good size. Check that monster out. Guys, he came up. He smelled the trout. See, because my trout are in this bag. And he must have... Oh my goodness. Oh, This is so cool. All right, stick him in there. That is crazy. Biggest one of the day for sure. Must have come out of that deep pool right there. This is, this is so much fun. This is what I love to do. This is my favorite Saturday right here. Bunch of trout and crawfish in there. Oh wow. It's kind of a little cave area back here. You know, could we find a cave? That would be really nice because it's getting a little drizzly out here. Oh, I see. The river came through here this spring. And that's why all the stuff laid down. Oh, oh my goodness. Folks, I have a cave. Look at this. This is cool. I can... It's not exactly a cave, actually. That's an exaggeration. But I can sit under this and be out of the rain. I can like cook under here. <laughs> nice. Everything's covered in moss, so it's pretty sweet. Look at this, all these big rocks and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm completely out of the rain here. Let's cook. Folks, I found that cave in the nick of time because the rain just started to really come down. I'm glad I brought my rain stuff too, or I would have been hurting. I'm gonna hang the fish and crawfish right there so they don't get any dirt on them. Folks, this is why you gotta get out. You just gotta start exploring because you never know what you're gonna find or do. At the start of the day, I had no idea that I would be cooking up under this little rock here in the rain. It wasn't even raining. When I first got out here, so how cool. <sighs> Little backpackers set up here. I have all this stuff for making coffee, and I almost never do. I need to do that, especially on these cold days. The pot. And then check it out. I brought everything for a miniature crawfish boil couple of ears of corn there, some young potatoes, or no, not young potatoes, new potatoes. New potatoes right there, little miniature ones so they cook up fast. One of the first thing I'm gonna have to do is get water to boil. Let's go back down to the creek. That should be good. Alrighty, here we go. Corn is one of my favorite vegetables. This corn is so sweet, you need it raw. And I think it's called honey suckle. Honey cream something. Water is balling. First thing I'm gonna do is add, this is a mixture of salt and pepper. I'm gonna add plenty of that to it. There we go. And then I've got here Slap Ya Mama seasoning. Got this uh, from a trip, Texas, Texas trip, I think. And um, I'm gonna just add a whole bunch of that to the water. There. 
make this water Louisiana style where they just <coughs> they just put it in tons of seasoning. And of course it gets in your throat. <coughs> then some Zatarans, shrimp, and crab boil. Make it a little spicy. Just like so. And uh, while that's heating back up, I'm actually going to add the miniature with the new potatoes in there first, since those need the longest to cook. You know what else I forgot here, folks? I almost forgot it. I got ramen noodles. I'm going to throw some noodles in the crawfish boil. Crunchy ramen noodles are good, too. I'm eating everything before I even cook it. All right. The potatoes have been cooking for a little while. Probably about 10 minutes or so. All right, so they poke moderately well. Still not cooked all the way. Here's my almost eaten corn here. Throw him in there. And him. Now, here's the question. Do I add another one? I don't know if I have enough room. Hmm. You know what? If it overflows, it is going to overflow. Dang it. Maybe I just eat this raw. That might be what I do. All right, crawfish. Going in hot. Actually, they're going in cold. They'll soon be hot. I got some nice crawfish today. I cannot believe how big they are in this creek. And in fact, here's the pièce de résistance. Look, he's taking a trout with him. He loves the trout. What the heck, dude? Like, come on. There you go. Force him down in the hot water there. He'll let go. He'll stir it all around there. Let me see how my potatoes look. Oh yeah, look at it, just split apart. Oh, that is so perfect. Excellent. Man, I am getting a little better at these crawfish boils every single time. Everything is coming out even. Alright, it is now finally time for the trout. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna put these in and then let them cook for just like a minute or two. The very last thing will be the ramen noodles. I'm running out of room. It's a huge crawfish boil. Maybe I should have split it up into two parts. Nah, just tamp it down. Everything's good. Boom. I don't think there's any room for the ramen noodles. Okay. I break these ramen noodles sideways, kind of break them up a bit. I can barely fit some in here. One more chunk. Come on. Because these will collapse. If I can fit them in there without overflowing this, there we go. It'll all cook down somehow. All right, my friends, it's been several minutes. Looking good. Looking extra good. Look at Papa Crawfish here. Good knit. That is a monstro right there. Let's see here. I know the ramen noodles are done. Is the trout done? Come on, trout. Please tell me you're done. Oh, yeah. Yep. Coming away. Perfect. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to eat it right out of the <laughs> pot here. Yeah, I'm just going to eat this big, <coughs> this whole big uh, crawfish boil straight out of here. Let's say a prayer. <laughs> What a blessed day out here. At first I'm trying some ramen noodles. Folks, that doesn't work. Since ramen noodles absorb 
whatever they're in, <clears throat> they absorb a lot of it. And they absorb a ton of the seasoning. And they're just over-seasoned. I should have just eaten them raw. The potato looks good, though. That's a little better, draining it off. Pop a crawfish is delicious. And despite, like, look how big those claws are, but they're so, like, slender. They're not the big, fat claws. These crawfish from this river are so tasty. I know that from previous experience. When you catch them out of a clear stream, you don't even need to purge them or nothing. They are good just like that. Mm. And boiled trout is seriously really good. Mm. Wow, that was tasty. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I started cooking. Maybe eating all that uh, raw corn. It'd be interesting to see how good it is when I'm not hungry. Guys, what a fun trip. By the time this video is done, the new Ace Videos Trout 2 box should be... We should have a bunch of them packed and ready to ship to you guys. Check out the link in the description. And uh, you, as you guys can see, they're super effective for trout. Hope you guys can catch a lot of fish on them. Check them out below. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next adventure.